From the hot and dry climate of Las Vegas, we took a flight and arrived into the hot and humid climate of Colombia. Our first stop in Colombia is the Caribbean coast and the town of Santa Marta. This is the 1st of July, it's our third day in Colombia. We finally made it to the beach in Santa Marta. Beautiful beach, it's the Turtle Beach, uh, Tortuga Beach. And there's actually lots of local tourists here on the beach. Um, and it's, it's very beautiful here. We found a great place to stay, the Dreamer Hostel or Guest House. And we enjoyed it greatly. Before we checked out by Barakia, where we arrived with the airplane, but we decided to go straight on to Santa Marta, which is much nicer, and be enjoying the day here. First of July, it's our third day in Colombia. shoulder you must like me and the cat really likes the parrot <laughs> cat is already next to us I hear <laughs> this parrot just landed here we thought it belonged to the place, but apparently they never seen him before. So, uh, but he's very friendly, and he just wants to eat our breakfast. <laughs> we don't need to go to the national park. We have all the uh, all the animals here. <laughs> in the jungle, baby. <laughs> Forest, we've got the ants. In the middle of the jungle, 
walking towards the beach on a special path. Any clubs here? Red paradise. We are in Taganga taking a boat to uh, Playa Grande which is already set and we are expecting a very lovely bay and maybe some snorkeling here yeah, it's a very busy beach here in Taganga We found a friend. Hey, I'm out way. We found our little paradise here in Palomino. Uh, this is a small village on the coast you got uh, the ocean one minute walk 20 minute walk for the jungle you got fresh water there are two rivers in the two sides of this uh, of this beach and it's just peaceful and fantastic place to be Wow, what a great day to start by walking on the beach. Not too many people and we're just enjoying a nice walk uh, towards the river Palomino. Uh, we should be about in the right direction. Expecting some good views. We finally made it to Palomino River. Uh, and as expected, the views are just fantastic. We're sitting here drinking pineapple juice and enjoying the good life. <laughs> there is a strong current here from the river taking Bridget towards the ocean.
which is coming back coming back from the ocean Jurel 45 Sierra 60 Today, we went to the other side of the beach, to the San Salvador River. We saw a lot of nature on the way, a yeah. lot of Fantastic. animals, squirrels, uh, birds, birds, even a snake, you yeah. will see it soon. Right, and it was really amazing there. We're crossing now this river, Salvador, mighty river in Colombia. Ah, back on solid ground. Oh, we did! Salvador River next to Palomino complete paradise you're just at the mouth of the river where uh, the fresh water meets the ocean. the ocean and I will demonstrate to you how close it is to get to the ocean Closer, closer, here it is. Fantastico. We are walking towards the Valencia waterfall through the jungle, which is only half an hour bus ride from Palomino. 
and uh, you're crossing the riverbed here. Bridget has a system of how to cross this river. Watch and learn. Not Eliana, it's a snake. Oh, I think you put the eye on me right now. Okay, we are in a village, 100 years of solitude. <laughs> Bridget, okay. what's the story here? We are in Camarones and this is the place where we are going on the boat and we're gonna see the flamingos. Uh -huh. This is like a laguna and uh, I, you said something that we cannot take a motorboat, right? Yeah, is. You have to have... Uh, because it's too low and also the flamingos are getting easily scared so we probably have to have a rowing boat maybe we even have to row ourselves, we don't know okay, here is our guide put the black head around him and we are going to the boat see the flamingos Acá no es permitido usar motor cuero bordo por la profundidad. Eh, pescamos lo que es el camarón, el pescado, como el lebranche, róbalo, lisa, soco, anchoa y macabiz. Sí, acá más que todo llegan los flamengos, acá porque están en su hábitat natural, no lo tenemos en cautiverio. Eh, vienen acá solamente a alimentarse, a parearse y cuando van a poner huevos emigran en lugares vírgenes, emigran para Venezuela, las margaritas, laguna de los olivos, pero ellos están acá en su hábitat natural. Exactly the same boat that we are in, and with the sail and the oar, we are moving here slowly, not so slowly actually, in the laguna towards where the flamingos are.
so and we still have about uh, 20 minutes to go to the town where we take the, the bus back to uh, Santa Marta.